All right, we're going to do uh, Scorpio. Think for a minute there, I'm losing my mind. You know. Shuffle these up a bit, and then I'll shuffle them for you. These are Scorpio, June 18th to July 1st. Please be quiet. Scorpio, June 18th to July 1st, the energies they're dealing with, Spirit. Uh, somebody's going on a shopping spree for some sales of summer clothes. May have started in your store. That's what I'm seeing. Store near you. Shuffle these first, and I'll get you some angel cards on top of them. Scorpio. What advice do you have? You one on the air, one on Jupiter, and one on the fire. Could be dealing with fire sign and air sign. You may be carrying those energies or someone around who is. Okay. Right there, so we'll stop there. And we'll read these. There. It's crisp, equal, and decisive. The energy of air fuels the winds of truth and whispers grand inside. Clarity and truth are supported by rationality, reason, and common sense. And logic. Air energy breaks stalemate and stagnation through wise decision making and mutual understanding. Bring the quality of air to a situation by seeing things as clearly and objectively as possible. Focus on the facts and not the stories we like to attach to the facts. Truth, calm, communication, and comprehending the points of views of others and promoting understanding of all sides. What is that, Jupiter? Jupiter is associated with the Roman god Jupiter, ruler of heaven and earth. Thought of as a fair and just protector, Jupiter is often thought of as a planet of luck and expansion. The desire to understand bigger pictures, to prosper, and to experience joy are a big part of Jupiter's influence. Optimism, faith, and spirituality plays roles in these issues. Fire. Powerful, focused, and intense. The energy of fire burns brightly and moves quickly. Passion drive, the desire to create and strong and sometimes scary emotions like anger are fueled by fire. It both destroys and purifies, which seems in opposition to the desire cre to create, but really is part of the creative process. Bring a quality of fire to a situation by taking action and doing what needs to be done. Being courageous by saying or doing the scary but essential things that needs expression. Being focused and determined to see something quietly. Being focused and determined to see something through to the end and honoring and following your passion. Okay. And your... Angel cards. Notice reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So Spirit's trying to guide you in the right direction. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. 
what I'm seeing here is uh, I'm getting a couple different things. You may be in charge of a daycare. <laughs> and the children are driving you nuts. Or maybe since school's out, um, you've taken on some children. Give some of your family or friends uh, time to work and stuff. I'm also picking up military, someone in the military. Maybe your husband is in the military and he is out at work. Therefore, you have the children and you've taken on a couple other children. Spirit said, stop there. You have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Strength in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. Three of Wands in the upright. Eight of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands. Star in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. And uh, it's not in reverse, it's upright. Let me two for the overall spirit. Two for the overall for Scorpio. Hierophant and the lovers. Okay, let me read some of these reversals if you don't mind. False heart, mutation, instability, and revolution. Abuse of power, weakness, discord. All right, what I'm saying here is um, a relationship, and you were about to get married. Scorpio, you were about to get married. And y'all are having a hard time because a wedding costs a lot, and things cost a lot to do, so you're having to wait. These wands reverse. You're having to wait. You don't like waiting, or your partner doesn't like waiting. Now, remember, these readings can go vice versa. Maybe some people are asking you when y'all plan to get married, and y'all are just, uh, y'all said y'all getting married, but, you know, it's not a good time. I mean, you, you want to get married. You're, you, know, you just don't have the funds to do it at this moment. You're trying to grow your pinnacles so y'all can have some stability. Let me get that six of pinnacles reverse over there. And people keep pressuring y'all. Oh, when you get married, what's the date? What's the date? We want to come. Da, 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 da. And I don't believe y'all even have made a date yet. Yeah, they're pressuring you. It's not that you don't want to get married. You do want to get married. But they're you're pressuring you. And, and, and right now, even though that y'all both have agreed to get married or... He's asked you, or you, or you've asked her, or however it goes. Um, uh, the pinnacle, you, you just have to have the money to do it, and y'all don't have the money to do it right now. You know, either one party or both parties wants to feel adequate in being able to do something, being able to uh, have a marriage here. and not get into fights about money. So, take your time, you know, love is there. Nothing has to be rushed. Don't let people pressure y'all. You both get your pinnacles up. Both working will help do that. 
saying that you're worried about getting pregnant in this relationship and you're not married yet. Uh, take your precautions that you need to take. Above all, don't let people pressure you. Do not let people pressure you. I am seeing multiple people here, and that's just what they're doing is they're gossiping and being nosy all up in you. Oh, yeah, I heard y'all was getting married, but you never said Saturday. When's the date? When's the date? When's the date? When's the date? And yeah, you'd like to be able to tell them a date, but y'all, you know. Don't let them people pressure you. They're not part of your life. Just you and the person you're going to marry is. Y'all build it and go towards it as y'all see fit. As y'all feel comfortable. Not what people pressure. Alright. And for another here. the project you're, you're doing you're not having the strength to do it you're worried about it going wrong maybe you're doing some foundation work on your house and you're having to go the cheap way friends family people from your church maybe helping you do this and you're worried about it don't worry about it it's going to work out have faith Whatever your project is, have faith it's going to work out. It may start slow. It may start slow. It's going to make you happy starting it. It's going to be a little discouraging that it's not as, gets this finished as quickly as you would like it finished because of money. Or even the possibility that people, you know, I'm reading for Scorpio, so. Even the possibility that people don't move as fast as you want them to. You're like, you're standing over here with this big van. Here's the money. How come you haven't got the job done? <laughs> um, let them do their work, you know. If it was your job and somebody come at you like that, how would you feel? You'd, you'd be thinking in your mind, let me do my work and get it done properly the way it's supposed to be done. So that's what you do. You let them get their job done properly in the way it's supposed to be done. Now, to grant it, don't be taking advantage of and pouring some money out to people and they ain't finished with the job. You just don't do that. I mean, you, you don't go into the grocery store, get your groceries, make your sandwich, and then pay for your food. You pay for the food, and then you make the sandwich. <sighs> Scorpio, you may be in a relationship with a Gemini, fire sign, or an air sign. You may be looking for guidance of how this was going to go. And I'm seeing a father figure talk to you about it. He's giving you some good advice. Go ahead and listen to him. Do take your time. Everything is done in time. Divine timing is slow. And that's the same thing way everybody needs to do everything else. Slow and precise. That way you get it right. Scorpio, I'm also seeing some of you doing some gambling here. Some gambling. Okay, some horse betting. And it's going to get you some money. It is. It's going to get you some money. The friends that you gain from it uh, may not be 
true friends. They just may be gambling people. You know, oh yeah, hey, you won. Buy me a beer, you know, or whatever. However that goes. Alright, let me see what else I see in these other cards. I see someone getting divorced. They do not want to sign the divorce papers. So actually, um, Scorpio, you may be with a Leo does not want to sign the divorce papers or you don't want to sign the divorce papers against a Leo. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. You don't want them to sign divorce papers against a Leo or they don't want to sign against you. work on it or you want to work on it. I am seeing someone on here worried about pregnancy. And they're also worried about the ripple effect. You know. Maybe you just had one and you're like, oh God, no it takes another and another and another and another and another, and another the ripple effect. wondering if you're going to have enough to feed every mouth. Take a deep breath. Maybe get out and ground yourself a little bit. Understand that the person that you're with knocks you out of your senses a little bit because you love them so much. It's kind of like goo-goo love. Hi, goo 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 what do you say? <laughs> what I, uh, what's reality? I just love looking at your beautiful eyes. Look at that beautiful eye. Oh! Could you turn around and let me see you walk away just one more time? Don't walk too far now, though. There it is. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, my goodness. Mm. That is just too funny. I see so you standing there going like that. BAM! <laughs> Too funny. Oh. They're, now, Scorpio, they're either looking, your partner's either looking at you like that or you're looking at them like that. But there's so much love. There's a lot of love. And that's beautiful. People rush you into thing. I see people over on the side talking. A lot of arrogance. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't let them talk y'all into stuff that's going too fast. Now y'all take times, Joan. Take your own time to do this stuff. You don't work on anybody else's time, but your own time and your own life. It's like they don't in, the, in there. They don't do. They don't work on your time in their life. You can damn well bet that they doing their thing on their time. I mean, if you want to, you can take a little Aquarius uh, arrogance and, you know, when they start after, well, how come you done this? Yeah, some so what, what, what's going on with your life? And they're like, well... Um, we was gonna do this and then well, why hadn't you done it yet? Just get on it, get on why hadn't you done it yet? And they look at you and they're gonna look at you like, Well, why are you worried about what I do? And you look at them and you say, Exactly. You do things in your life and your time and I'll do things in my life and my time. I know it's very arrogant to say that very is. You Scorpio, you got a little bit of arrogance in you too. I'm Aquarius. I got a whole lot of arrogance in me. And uh you got air sign here. 
So you got some arrogance going on up in there. Also, they have their arrogance going up on in there. And you got some fire here, so you can pull that off. You can absolutely pull that off. All right, Scorpio, that is your reading from uh, June 18th till July the 1st. If it helps any of those people that you're dealing with, they doing your reading, they gave me a headache too, just like they give you one. <laughs> Blessings to you. Um, please subscribe, you know. I understand that people don't like to hear that ding from hitting that bell when you describe. They say hit that little bell and say, you ain't got to hit the little bell for me. Just subscribe. I need some scrub subscribers, please. I'd appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading, everything is in my about, my PayPal, my email. Just hook me up. Let me know. Blessings to you.